I am also outraged that bodies of the dead were allowed to pile up in a makeshift morgue at the facility. New Jerseyans living in our long-term care facilities deserve to be cared for with respect, compassion, and dignity. On the day of my mom's death, the, uh, my sister, we had been petitioning them to let us visit her somehow. We'd wear whatever protective gear it took. We'd do whatever it took to, to be with my mom. Right. And so my sister Dana was able to go out. They allowed one family member in the room. Um, they gave her a mask. Uh, I believe she wore gloves. And she went and saw my mom. And my mom did not look good, but we didn't, we, we, she didn't under, we didn't understand how bad it was. And my sister left to go home, and I think within hours, she got a call from the nurse, um, the head nurse again at that at that shift, who's saying that my mom was having trouble breathing. And mm. by the time my sisters and my brother were able to get to the nursing home, she had died. That was the extent of the communication, really, on the day she died. We didn't get much information. My sisters did inquire if she could possibly have COVID because we were on lockdown for it, and they did not have any testing going on. And they, I believe, there, they there told was my no sister testing. That one had it. Yeah. that the nursing home did not have any COVID cases, when in retrospect, that could not have been true. I've asked the Attorney General to look into this matter as well as to do a review of all long-term care facilities that have experienced a disproportionate number of deaths during the COVID outbreak, and I know he will take any and all appropriate action.